Oh, sorry. Drill, speed two. It is on turbo. All right, so ready? Oh, make sure that that's tight. Good, ready? Go. Nope. All right, you guys, I'm very sorry for not going live with this. I believe the information I'm about to give is very important based on the Flex's promo video that they did. And I didn't want this information getting lost in the live stream. Uh, but in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to unbox and test this out and see where this actually uh, sits among the other brands. And so, yeah, so if it, uh, I'll get the feel of it. And based on the results, I'm going to do the proper versus video to what uh to what the competitors of this tool actually is i did make another channel so please go over there it's called mct two minute reviews all it is is a couple of two minute or less videos of a quick review of the tools that i've been working on for the past couple of years and please go check out vcg construction i love their stream i uh and i love their videos very informative let's unbox this and test this out and I'll show you why I'm dissatisfied with this purchase already. All right, so right off the bat, I'm gonna show you guys this. All right, so let's zoom out. So as you can see, it's all this case is already cracked. So it starts from here, and it's already cracked all through here, and then right here. So I didn't do anything to this. Uh, I just took the batteries out to charge them. As you can see, it's all brand new still. But yeah, but this is... That's broken already. Like, th that's not good. This case is garbage. You know, if that broke during shipping, it's not my problem. You know, that's, that's seriously bad. That's seriously, seriously bad. So first impressions is not good so far when it comes to the quality of the company. If you're gonna make a hard case, you need to really make a durable hard case because people are gonna throw these in the truck and we you can't have this case break like that. So yeah, so this case, seriously, garbage. All right, so like I said, I did charge these up. I do love the design of the battery. The battery level indicator is awesome. I love that, it's on both sides. Let's see how much resistance this motor could actually take. This is only gonna be tested on speed two. For this to qualify to go against Milwaukee and DeWalt, speed two needs to be used and only used. Nice ratcheting chuck as well. All right, so first we're gonna try it on turbo. Let's see if turbo bites us in the butt. It is on drill. All right, so I'll, I will be extremely happy if this can do it, I will be happy if it can do this. All right, so ready, go. It, it did it, but it did it. it. I could tell that was slow, but the important thing is it did it. It did it on speed one. Oh, sorry, on speed two. As you can see, it was on speed two. So that, that's a good thing so far. All right, so let's do a time without the turbo mode on. Turbo mode is off. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Yep, uh, it gets caught on the bottom like, it, like every other tool, but it, it is through. That's expected because that's the size of the bit. All right, so so far it's, uh, so far it's good. Let's see if, uh, if let's uh, increase the, the intensity of the test. All right, so next let's do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're gonna try both tur uh, turbo mode and with turbo mode off. First we'll do turbo mode off. It's on uh, drill, speed two. All right, so ready, go. I heard that. All right, so that was pretty unique. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. Uh, about halfway through, I can tell that the RPMs kicked up. Like there's a sensor, like there's something in there that told the motor it needs more power. 
Because for like for halfway in the test, it actually kicked into like another gear or something, and it increased more power. All right, so let's put turbo mode on now. Turbo mode is on. All right, so up. Oh, sorry, it's on drill. Speed two. All right, so ready. Go. Time. It's doing it, but I do feel that it's doing it a little bit slow. It's still doing it though, which is a good thing. All right, so Rigid and Makita passed that test in a previous video. I'll put that video right here. So let's increase the test to where the other where other tools failed. All right, so uh, Rigid, Hilti, and Makita failed at this test. That's straight. Gets on drill. Speed two. We'll do it right here. All right, so uh, we'll do turbo mode off first. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's uh, give it another shot. It, uh, it failed this test, but this is a brand new tool. I am going to give it one more shot. Oh. Yep. All righty, so that is, the, let's, uh, let's give it another shot. You have to, I do have to switch to speed one to take it out. All right, so go back to speed two. We're going to give this one more shot on it, uh, with no turbo. Then we're going to try turbo and see if it can do it. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so ready? Go. Nope. All righty, so we're, it's going to take one more. We're going to do one more shot with turbo on. And if it cannot do it with turbo, then this doesn't even qualify to go against Milwaukee or DeWalt. All right, let's do turbo mode is on. Do it right here. All right, so ready? Oh, sorry. Drill, speed two. It is on turbo. All right, so ready? Oh, make sure that that's tight. Good, ready? Go. Nope. All righty, so we have a result right there, you guys. There, there is no reason to go on. Actually, there is a reason to go on. Let's do the 10-inch lag anyways. All righty, so next we are going to do the 10-inch lag. The battery is still at three bars. We are not going to use turbo mode on this. If this succeeds, we will use turbo mode for the next one. Uh, it is on speed one, it is on drill. Now let's see if this can do this. We'll do it right here. I think we're good to go. All right, so ready, go. Hey, whoa. Cut it cut out. Let's continue. Uh, it's cutting out. All right, we'll give that a second to sit. Just might need to go through a reset process. All right, let's continue. All right, it is having issues. It is having issues. Alrighty, so as you can see, what's the battery life at after that? The battery's at still three bars. Let's do a temperature reading on that. I had it. Most of it's around 83, 85 degrees so far. So that, that's pretty hot for doing a couple of things. Chuck is tight. It's on drill, speed one. <coughs> Let's see if we can do it. Ready? Go. Nope, it cannot. 
So, so that is actually disappointing that it didn't do that just because of the video that Flex did of their own brand. So yeah, that's what this channel does. This channel does real hardcore tests to see how well the motor actually does. And as you can see there, it did not finish the lag. We tried multiple times on multiple tests. It isn't able to do what other brands can do. So I already know what category this goes in, but let's go back to the bench. 95, 95 degrees. But when it comes to this test, on based on my experience with the others, uh, this, for now, I'm gonna categorize this with Ryobi, Rigid, Makita, Cobalt, Craftsman. You know, this, do this doesn't belong with Hilti, uh, Milwaukee, or DeWalt yet. You know, and so, but like I said in previous videos, Every tool doesn't operate the, the same every time. It, it doesn't. Sometimes tools will fail. Sometimes they'll succeed in the same test later on in the future. But what I see right now, the, the tool is in uh, the category with, with those, with those uh, mid-range tools. Like, I'm sorry, guys, if you're fans of those tools. Uh, but but th that's how it is based on this test right here. All right, so yeah. So, this, uh, the, so I am not going to do... A versus video against Milwaukee and DeWalt because this doesn't, it's just going to be a waste of time. I'm going to do a video, a videos with this ma mainly against M Makita, Cobalt, uh, Ryobi, Craftsman. And so, yeah, so that's actually what I feel that for right now, the category, you know, in the future, it might, it might, it might change. Uh, and like I said, uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick example. The battery you use is very important when it comes to tests. And I highly recommend Flex making 21700 cell batteries. Now, they do have an 8 amp hour battery, which I am going to get. That might completely change the test. So a, a bigger battery might let this compete against Milwaukee, Hilti, and DeWalt. It might. You know, like, uh, the battery is very important. I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration right now on how important batteries are. All right, so we will be using a two amp hour battery. As you see, the battery is full. All right, so it is on speed two. Sorry. It's on drill. It's on speed two. The Milwaukee will fail this. All right, ready? Go. So look at that. Terrible. Can't even do a quarter of an inch. Right there is good. All right, so ready? Go. Bam. It doesn't matter how powerful your tool is, because if you don't have the battery to support that power, then it's going to fail. So uh, I, that's why I say it. Every company needs to make 21700 cell batteries as a normal battery. You know, like these regular 18650 cells, are, they're, they're just obsolete now. Because the, new, the 21700 cells majorly give the tool power. All right, anyways, I did charge this up, and uh, mo the wife and I were watching the show uh on tv while i charge this up and this charger is really really fast it charges up extremely fast but the downfall is it is the loudest charger i have ever heard and i have a lot of fast chargers throughout all the brands and this is the loudest so this is a this is a 160 watt charger it, it I, I will say that it is it charges these batteries very fast, but it's loud. The model number for the charger is FX zero four one one flex charger. So of course you get instructions and warranty. Uh, I believe their box says a five year uh, warranty. Tools, batteries, and the charger. the The handle is actually very robust. It's uh pretty much all metal. Besides the actual grip, which it's a, it, it's a, I don't know what material it is, but it's a nice material. It does come with a belt clip and a bit holder for the side, uh, for the base of the tool, which that's good. The same thing, uh, Cobalt does the same thing. And as you can see, you could put two five amp hour batteries in here. You could put it one right there and one right there. So it does have two spots for two five amp hour batteries. All right, so like I said, I did charge these up. I do love the design of the battery. The battery level indicator is awesome. I love that. It's on both sides. It does have a rubber molding grip for the, uh, on the front and back of the bottom so you don't scratch your surface, which I think is really good. So it does have rubber, rubber placing for the tool so it doesn't go against the plastic. 
but which that doesn't really matter if your case is already broke. So this case is garbage because because of this because of that weakness, this side won't lock. So I can only use one one clamp. So this case is garbage. I'm not even bothered to return it because I hate hard cases anyways that come with tools. So I I wish this came with a bag. All right, and I was wrong. There is an actual turbo button. There the uh, there is a turbo button. I first thought it was turbo was in the tool, but it does have a turbo button. All right, so this is model number FX1271T, 24, 24 volt system. Uh, there are two speed settings, zero to 550 on speed one and zero, zero to 2000 on speed two. I guess on turbo mode, it's uh, zero to 700 RPM on speed one and zero to 2500 on speed two. And so when it we are going to test that out to see if the turbo button helps you out when it comes to power. Finch, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the specs. This is a 24 point clutch. And then it has its own separate transmission for drill, uh, screw drill and hammer feature. This is metal. I do like that. This is metal. All right. So there is a YouTube channel that took these batteries apart. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Philly Fixed. He did do uh, a battery teardown and he showed that this battery had 18650 cells. And based on the size, based on the size, this has to have 18650 cells as well because uh for those of you who don't know that uh, 18650 21700 that's a battery size that's the cell that's the cell size of the cell all right so as you can see here we have we do have a battery with 21700 cells in it and as you can see there is a major difference in size all right, so this battery does not have 21,700 cells in it. This is 18,650, but there's extra cells in there for, to make it 24 volt. But that has been this review. This uh, so far, based on this one test, my first video of this, which as you guys know, I don't do one video only for a tool. I do many videos. Many videos are coming up this between uh, versus doing tests you know and who knows that this it might this might be because it's brand new once you break it in it might get a little bit more powerful who knows many videos coming up this to you guys you know and i'm also going to get the recip saw and the uh impact driver the both versions please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time